All right, I am back with another Destiny 2 video. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about the article that went up about the guns that are returning for Into the Light. A lot of good rolls, a lot of power creep. We could talk about power creep another time, but at this point, I'm just like, screw it, whatever. Power creep the hell out of everything. What does it matter anymore anyway? Uh, but the main point here is that it was revealed that Bungie is doing something a bit too Bungie-ish, where they did not talk about this in any of the first two streams, but the weapons you are getting from Into the Light will be time-gated. There are six weapons that are going live and able to be farmed right at launch, but after that, uh, every week we'll bring the addition of one new weapon until we get all 12 weapons out uh, two weeks before the final shape comes out. And... One of the problems, uh, among many, is that the first six weapons, I would argue, are probably not many of the ones people are the most excited about. Uh, the first six are Hung Jury, which everyone has had 50 million copies of, Elsie's Rifle, uh, Recluse, Falling Guillotine, Edge Transit, and Succession. Um, I would say out of those, Recluse is like the one that... People might be excited about given, you know, how popular it used to be. I don't think it's fitting into, you know, the current state of the game and quite the just insanely dominant position it may have used to be in. But that's something I think people are certainly going to go for. Uh, Edge Transit is kind of the meme here, but the perks they've given it and the damage and stuff makes it probably the best grenade launcher in the game, uh, depending on how the perks you set up for that. But, you know, look at the other six. The other six are Mountaintop, Blast Furnace, Midnight Coup, Forbearance, uh, Hammerhead, and Luna's Howl. I would say all of those, the only, like, really ignorable one is probably Forbearance. Even that is, like, if you have a Forbearance, that is, you know, um, Chain Reaction, whatever whatever the first one is. Uh, I can't remember the, the perk. The one that gives you, like, two shots. Ambitious Assassin? Is it Envious? Yeah, anyway. That is like one of the best mob clearing weapons in the game. It has been for years. So if you have one, great. But if you don't, I can see how that would be very valuable. There's, I think you can get a better one now, even if you do have one. And that's like the worst one there. All the other ones are ones that are uh, that people are really eager to see return. So first of all, this is just annoying. Like I don't, it, it seems like such an own goal on Bungie's end where they got this cool activity launching. They have these you know, cool guns returning, new perks, fun stuff to farm, and then they time gate half of them. And as I said in an article earlier, like this is clearly for engagements, like the eternal friggin' curse of the live service genre where you can't just have a bunch of people log in to something and then grinds on and off for two months. You must get them back to log in at reset every single week and grind for a new thing. Uh, but that doesn't really work here, I would argue. And like, I think it's just doing more harm than good because like, okay, given that, you know, five or six of the ones that are delayed are some of the best ones people care about. You're going to have a lot of people just not really even bothering to show up at all if they can't farm for the weapons that they wanted. Like if you were really excited about Mountaintop or Midnight Coup coming back, you have to wait, who knows how many weeks for those to actually show up? Maybe one week, maybe five weeks, who knows? Uh, and that just seems like a poor way to set this up. Um, it really hampers the hype of something that I think otherwise was actually, you know, looking up to be a pretty fun thing. And while it's true that all of this stuff is staying in the game indefinitely after Into the Light, uh, and you can farm it any time then, like, if you're just trying to do a launch that people are excited about, if that is your main goal, to launch something that people are enthused to play... Don't take half the weapons out of the pool and tell people that they're going to slowly show up in some unspecified order over the next month and a half. Uh, the second angle of all this is the limited time nature of uh, the special limited edition version of these, where we don't know the drop rates of this exactly, but like they're being equated to shiny versions of the weapons. They have a unique, is it, I think it's an ornament, maybe just a shader, uh, look to them that is like you know above and beyond the normal look of these and if you get a shiny version it has uh four perk options instead of just the normal two so you could set up some like really really good god rolls that way 
Uh, and um, the problem here is that, well, you will have the full amount of time to grind out for the first six. As the weeks go on, you have less and less and less time to get uh, the limited edition versions of those other weapons. By the time you get to the end, whatever the last weapon is, you're going to have two weeks to uh, grind out a limited edition version and hopefully one with perks you like. Uh, I do think they said there was some way to get like a guaranteed limited edition weapon a week with a quest or something. I don't know if you can pick which one, uh, but the point is, is like when you've created this limited time thing, it's bizarre to have some weapons, you know, you're able to get them for, for two months. Others, you're able to get it for like two to three weeks at the most. And after this, there's no more limited edition weapons, even if you can farm the weapons indefinitely. This is the you had to be there moment. And in this case, for at least one of these, who knows what the last weapon's going to be, but one of the good ones probably, uh, you will have literally two weeks before the final shape and all of that goes away. I say revert this. It's very stupid. Like, I... I, I don't like I know why the decision was made for engagement to get people to log in at reset, but like again, you're just doing more harm than good at this point. You're gonna make a lot of people not really care as much about playing right when this launches. You're creating this uncertainty of like which new gun is showing up week to week. Uh, and then you're you're taking this time limited uh, shiny grind and you're making it just very annoying by making some of the weapons much more grindable than the other ones. Uh there, there was a way, like, I could have, I, I saw this on Twitter, I think it was from all the players, where if they did this, where they just, they announced six weapons, and then they're like, okay, every week we're going to debut uh, a new returning weapon, and it was like a secret, and like, each week we logged in and like, found out some new cool weapon that was arriving, like, that could have been a better way to handle it, I don't know if that would have worked, because data mining probably would have just ruined the list anyway, but like, you would still have the same problems, but like at least the reveal nature of this would kind of be neat. But now that we know everything, it's just the unknown is like, which order are these going to appear in and which week do I actually care about? Unlike some things where I'm like, Bungie, change this, change that. I have to believe that just not time gating this, just throwing everything into the pool at once is something they can change. Uh, this does not launch for two weeks, a little under two weeks. And I don't think... Bungie can ignore the insane amounts of feedback on this. Again, you're, you're not accomplishing anything by time gating this. This is like a parody of Bungie time gating stuff. It's not like it's not like time gating story content. That one I can understand because if you have a seasonal game, you don't necessarily want just a lore dump of 60 minutes, you know, on one day of season launch and then nothing for three months. Like I I understand time gating when it comes to stuff. Like that, there are certain instances where for a live game, time gating makes sense. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense in the context of how they want this to launch and how we're supposed to be grinding out these limited uh, limited edition weapons. So it, it feels like this wasn't thought through and like they're putting engagement above actual practicality of what this is going to feel like, the enthusiasm this is going to uh, negate for launch, and then this like uncertainty of what weapons coming which week and how long you'll have to get limited editions and like all this crap so i think they should revert it i think they can revert it um this does seem like a, a situation where player feedback may be enough to change something although they have destroyed half their community team so who knows who's even relaying that feedback or if anyone is even uh reading that feedback or watching videos like these or whatever so I don't know. If you think this is a good idea, feel free to tell me. But the sense I'm getting is that everyone just sort of hates this. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.